Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Bex Hybrids, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are in Michigan Town, Indiana with David Redding. David has signed up for Bex 300 Bushel Challenge. Also with us today is Josh Redding. Josh is the local seed advisor here in the area and Josh is here to document David's personal journey to 300 bushel corn. What have you seen from Beck's Practical Farm Research book, maybe some of the agronomic studies that have helped you give recommendations to David or maybe help solidify some of the plans that he's made for his 300 bushel goal? Yeah, so the PFR uh, book and, and the data and the, the knowledge that we've been able to gain from it is, you know, first off, our nitrogen program. We used to do a lot of fall and hydrus uh, before, all the years before, we never did any side dressing. Uh, we mainly did starter um, with the fall fall and hydrus program, but uh, uh, about four or five years ago, we switched it up, changed it up, and went to some anhydrous on side dress. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw a huge response. It was probably a 10, 20 bushel mm -hmm. response across every hybrid we did it on on the farm. Um, and then we changed up the side dressing to a 28, so we changed mm -hmm. up the different type of nitrogen. Okay. Um, saw another response. Um, and so we basically eliminated ourselves from doing any fall and hydrous anymore. Uh, we're doing spring pre plant and mm -hmm. uh, anhydrous. David, tell us a little bit about some of the agronomic practices that you're doing differently in this 300 bushel field that's different from your normal operation. Usually we pop the population way up on mm -hmm. our 300 pot. Last year we went up to like 45,000 population. Mm -hmm. This year we stayed at the 37.5, but we're going to do different foliage feeding. And row width, 30 inch rows? 30 inch rows. Okay. So what type of planter are you using? I have a John Deere finger planter. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about fertility other than nitrogen. Let's talk about phosphorus, potassium, or micronutrients. How are you handling your fertility program in that regard with the 300 bushel program? Uh, we're putting on a foliage spray on uh, our last pass of uh, Roundup, and then we're putting some uh, Nutri-Poly in our, uh, our side dress. Okay. okay. So you've got a foliar, foliar spray that's going to handle, it's going to have some micronutrients in it, and then you also are putting some in with, as you side dress. Correct. Okay. Where are we at with planting date in this particular? Uh, this challenge? is May 6th. What's the weather been like as a whole? Uh, it's been kind of cold and um, the soil just hadn't dried out very well this year. As we look at this corn, the corn looks pretty good. We're at about the V5 growth stage out here in the field. We are warmed up. We're in the 80, de 80 degree range. So this corn's going to start popping and growing really fast. And we've got a little bit of purple corn out here, some rapid growth syndrome, but I, I don't see any problems with it. I think we'll come right out of it with, with some heat and some good weather. David, as we look at the rest of the growing season here, as once we get past side dressing and getting all of our nitrogen on, what are some other, other things you're wanting to do agronomically on this 300 bushel corn challenge as we focus maybe on the next two to three weeks? Might be trying to do some uh, V6 fungicide this year. Mm -hmm. We've done the ta at tassel time before, but this time we might try the V6. Okay, and so you're at about V4, V5 growth stage now, so that's mm -hmm. gonna be coming mm -hmm. here real quick. Be sure to check back with us next month as we follow Dave on his personal journey to 300 bushel corn. 